All right, I was coming out to check the cold crops and look who I see, a new cat. Two cats, oh my God, under my deck. Oh Lord, time for the ammonia. I'm not putting up with that this year. I hadn't seen a cat around here since last summer when I had Mule Lee. Okay, little shadow next door, that's the doggy. Get those cats. Yeah, they living up under the deck. Glad I, I, glad I saw them. Well, I can honestly say that I don't think the cats dug the groundhog hole. And let's look at that. Let's see what's happening there. Yesterday and the day before, I saw no activity. Y'all know that I put the dirt in it. So let's pull it up and see what's going on. Okay, it's still looking, looking the same. I think I might have it licked, but we're still gonna get it fixed. I told uh, my friend JD about it and he said, oh, he said, we can get that fixed. He's like, we'll just get some dirt. I told him I already put some in there. He was like, no, we're gonna pack it real good so that it'll be stable. He said, and that should take care of it. What I'm looking for is holes in other spots. And so far I haven't seen any. So I think that might have been a, a fluke, just a groundhog tunneling through somewhere. That's my hope and prayer. Usually they're under the deck. And since I saw two cats coming from under there, I need to get that wainscoting fixed. And I don't really want it, want the wainscot, is that what it's called? Or what they call that stuff? You know, Diane, because you just put some on your deck. <laughs> I forgot what they call it. But what I want to do is take out that, that all together and just get some boards and nail it around there. And I have plenty of the paint in fact, they still sell it. So I bought a five gallon can last summer when I painted the deck. You wouldn't think that I did, but I painted the whole deck last year. But anyway, they, uh, I, I bought a five gallon can and then I found a five gallon paint can that the Granberries had stored in the shed on one of the shelves. And so I have plenty of paint. So once I get the boards put along the side, you know, that won't take too long. Then uh, I'll paint the boards and it just won't have that, that you know, beautiful look as it once had. Because right now it's looking pretty bad. And that's just a haven for animals. I can block the animals out all together. Yep, so that's my next chore. Hopefully later this summer. Okay, let's look at my fig trees. They survived the winter. And, but I didn't, I should take them in the house. They were coming to life, but they did survive. They still feel like they're alive. So I don't think they've died <laughs> since I brought them out. Strawberries are still looking. The ones I can see, they're alive. Okay, what I came out here for, let's see here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, I'm seeing something here. And this is just since the other day. No? Oh, I thought that was a hole. Yes, it is. It, a mouse. A mouse has gotten in there. Okay, and that's fine. I can deal with the mouse, <laughs> okay? Just as long as he don't mess with my cold crops now. Let's see how they're looking today. Uh-oh. Let's see what we got here. Not too bad. Not too bad. Every, oh, okay. Not bad at all. You know that Swiss chart was kind of leggy from the beginning. But it's it's all surviving pretty good. It really is. Even the little weak links. Look at that cabbage. Okay. So let me cover this back up. Nothing stressed. And it's been 24 hours since I've checked this. 
Okay, and the rain didn't stop. That's why I hadn't been back out here. The rain didn't stop all day yesterday. It's currently 47 degrees. And that stuff is hanging in there. Let me make sure that this, yeah, cause I want this uh, plastic to be all the way down. Plastic's doing a good job. I'm gonna cut a wider piece tomorrow. Although the weather is supposed to warm up this week and it's supposed to remain warm. And we haven't had a freezing at night. Well, last week earlier, but since, uh, since midweek, it hasn't been freezing at night. The lows have only been getting down to maybe 38, 40, stuff like that. Okay. Okay, that's it for this one. I didn't even mean to be on five minutes. I will be back later this evening for a chat. I have a lot to share. Woohoo. Okay, so I will talk to you guys later. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.